Flushing a heparinized line at home. Clean your workspace. You can use a countertop or cookie sheet to lay out your supplies once the surface is clean. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. As you wash your hands, make sure you clean between your fingers, under your fingernails, and up to your wrist. Gather your supplies. Use your step-by-step -step instruction sheet to make sure you gather all your supplies. Remember, single-use items must be discarded after use. Wash your hands again for 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer. Clean end of cap. Remove the orange or green cap cover and discard. Keep the clear cap on at all times. Using your non-dominant hand, pick up the end of the line. With your dominant hand, scrub the end of the cap with an alcohol pad for 15 seconds. Firmly scrub the top of the cap and the threads on the side of the cap. Let it dry for another 15 seconds. Attach and flush the line with saline. Keep control of the line. Reclean if the cap touches anything. Take the cap off of the saline syringe and push the air bubble out before attaching. Push and twist saline syringe into cap. If your child's line has a clamp, unclamp it now. Pulse flush the entire saline syringe. Holding the clear cap firmly, untwist to disconnect saline syringe and discard. Attach and flush heparin. Keep control of the line. Clean the cap again with a new alcohol pad. Scrub the end of the cap with an alcohol pad for 15 seconds. Firmly scrub the top of the cap and the threads on the side of the cap. Then let it dry for another 15 seconds. Take the cap off of the heparin syringe and push the air bubble out. Push and twist heparin syringe into cap. Pulse flush the amount of heparin that's been specified by your medical team. Holding the clear cap firmly, untwist to disconnect heparin syringe and discard. Attach new cap cover. Attach the new orange or green cap cover. Push firmly and twist onto cap. Clamp the line if needed. Repeat all steps with Next Lumen if applicable.